serving in Whitechapel for part of his career, Wensley was involved in the investigation of the Jack the Ripper murders, details of which he would later publish in his memoirs in 1931, focusing particularly on the murders of Francis Coles and Constable Ernest Thompson. Wensley first gained public attention when he was responsible for capturing a burglar and murderer named William Seaman in a fight in Whitechapel in front of a crowd. Seaman had just murdered a pawnbroker named John Goodman Levy and his housekeeper, MRS Sarah Gale, Seaman would later insist Levy was a fence of stolen goods. Unable to get out of the house on the ground floor, Seaman worked his way to the roof and was followed by Wensley. Seaman would later hang for the murder of Levy and MRS Gale, placed between Milsom and Fowler the Musewell Hill murderers, to make sure that Fowler did not try to kill his partner as he had tried to do at their trial. In the Clapham Common Mystery of 1911 the chief suspect, Steiny Morrison may have been observed unfairly by witnesses shepherded by Wensley. Wensley always continued to believe that Morrison killed the victim Leon Barron for his money, Barron carried a large sum on him at all times. The other controversial case was that of Edith Thompson and Frederick Bywaters in 1923 for the stabbing murder of Edith's husband Percy the previous year. This case was notable because MRS Thompson appears never to have been linked to the murder committed by her lover, except for letters she wrote to Bywaters suggesting she was trying to poison Percy. It is likely that Thompson was actually convicted, like Florence Maybrick over 30 years earlier, for committing adultery. However, Bywaters had been caught already, and Wensley wanted to test his theory of a joint murder plot. While Thompson was crossing the floor after being questioned, she saw Bywaters being led across in a different direction. She apparently collapsed and said, Oh, why did he do it? Wensley also worked on the murder of French woman Emily and Gerard, whose body was discovered on November 2, 1917. He interviewed Gerard's lover, Louis Voisin, and arrested him after discovering that he misspelled bloody in the same was as the murderer who had left B. Lodi Belgium at the crime scene.